Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here. And in today's Grand Theft Auto 5 video, I'm gonna be talking to you guys about something that I think is amazingly cool. So a couple months ago, I did a video where we compared some of the most famous real life Los Angeles locations to Grand Theft Auto 5's Los Santos. I've always thought it's interesting, the job that Rockstar has done, making Los Santos feel as real as it possibly could, putting buildings in the exact spot where they are in real life, putting icons and various you know signs in the same spots that they occur in California and in Los Angeles as they do in San Andreas and in Los Santos. However with that video we were kind of limited to some of the photos that individuals were able to gather and their comparisons to Grand Theft Auto 5 locations and what I'm going to show you guys today is something that is really incredible. So this website is called grandtheftdata.com and they've got some information on like the GTA 5 stock market and some snapmatics, but what I think this website is most useful for is its landmarks tab. And if we open it up right now, you can see this is what it looks like. So before we kind of jump into everything right here, let me just run you through the website itself. And I should also tell you guys that I'm in no way affiliated with this website. I'm just a huge fan of stuff like this. And when I saw this, I was like, man, this is really, really creative. So there are four types of maps we can actually look at here. This one you guys are seeing right now is a satellite map so if you were to just you know go from a bird's eye view and look straight down this is sort of the stuff you would see and this satellite map will allow you to see like you know where desert is where grass is you know all sorts of stuff like that it's going to give away the topography and the features of the world itself so you've got that one right there let's zoom in just a little bit more and then we've also got the hybrid one, which is like a combination of all of them. So we can get a little bit of satellite. You can still see the roads as well, like the highways and all those features. Uh, you've got a road map, which is strictly for trying to map the roads. This would be a whole lot more useful if you're able to zoom in. I'm really sorry about like all the colors and whatnot, but you can see when we zoom in now, that kind of looks more like the map you would see on your in-game like device or something like that. And then you've got the Atlas map as well. I prefer the satellite one. I really like seeing all the details of the world. So that's the one that we're gonna be using for this video. Now you might be asking yourself, what are all these colored dots here? Well, they're actually locations in Grand Theft Auto 5, some of the more important ones that you might see every single day. Now let's go ahead and find one of these right now. Let's start, I guess, somewhere famous in Los Santos that you guys actually might recognize. Let's start with this building right here. So when you hover over it, you can see it says Eclipse Towers and it's South M.O. Milton Drive Vinewood. And let's see what happens when we click on this. So when we click on this, if we look over to the left, you'll see not only the screenshot of what it looks like in game, so that's Eclipse Towers in Grand Theft Auto V, but then you'll see the real life equivalent of Eclipse Towers. That's right, the apartment building that everyone owns is a real life thing, and that's where it's actually located in Los Angeles, which is super cool. You can also see a, a world map, kind of like a Google Maps view right there, so that is pretty awesome. And this website has all of the different locations for so many different various landmarks, buildings, and icons. It's so cool, and what I wanna do right now is run you through some of the most popular ones that you've probably recognized from the game. So that's the Eclipse Towers right there. You'll probably recognize this horse statue that's located in Rockford Hills. Well, in real life, instead of it being a horse, it's actually a photo of like a half naked person, which again, I think is really interesting on Rodeo Drive in Beverly Hills. That's another super famous location right there. Have you guys ever wondered about the Maze Bank building? Well, that's actually real. You can see Maze Bank building and in real life in Los Angeles, it's the US Bank building, which is super cool. You can see it takes on the exact same shape and almost basic size right there as one of the tallest buildings in Los Angeles. So that right there is pretty cool. If we stay with the CEO buildings, you've got the Arcadius Business Center. Look at the one in real life. You can see it's got those like three spire towers. That's actually pretty awesome as well. What about the Maze Bank Arena? Does that actually exist in real life? It does. This is a, a building in Englewood, California, and you can see just how similar it looks to the uh, Maze Bank Arena right there. So that's pretty cool. Those are just some of the, the famous icons that we can see it's to the real life Grand Theft Auto V locations. What about the casino and horse track as well? 
Look how similar these two things are. Vinewood racetrack right there with the casino built in front of it. And look at what it looks like in real life too. It's even got that like spiral car park area. That's something I noticed that was really cool. Just the amount of detail that Rockstar goes into when they're creating these locations is pretty insane. Let's move on to another one as well. Have you ever wondered if that giant luxurious golf course exists in the middle of Los Santos? Well, it does. And I mean, even look at this right there. They've got like the color. They've got like the uh, poshness of it. I mean, this looks very luxurious. That right there is the golf course that can be seen in the middle of Los Santos. So that right there is pretty cool. Another location you guys are probably pretty interested in is Fort Zancudo. Now, I thought this was particularly interesting because look at the swamp that surrounds the real life Fort Zancudo. It's actually this naval base in Ventura County in Oxnard, California. You can see there's a swamp around it, very similarly to the way Fort Zancudo has a swamp surrounding it in Grand Theft Auto 5. So again, just that level of detail right there, very, very interesting to me. And even at the front of the military base as well, you know, in Grand Theft Auto 5, there's that like trio of jets next to the statues. Well, in real life on that Oxnard military base, you can kind of see the same thing. There's this kind of statue and trio of jets as well that can be seen. And to me, that's pretty cool. Once again, just the level of detail that Rockstar ended up going into here is pretty incredible stuff. Another location is the prison, the Bolingbrook Penitentiary. I was curious if it actually had the same shape in game, if it did in real life, kind of this like octagon-like, and believe it or not, it does. You can kind of see the shape and the array of the buildings and even the parking lot as well, which is pretty cool. And even right next to the prison in game, the giant wind farm, you guys might be saying to yourself, is there really a giant wind farm in San Andreas or in Los Angeles, I should say? Yeah, it's in North Palm Springs, California. It's a giant wind farm, which is actually really crazy. I think there's like close to 300 or 400 of those things in total, which is just absolutely insane. Also, you guys know the purple dinosaur on Route 68? Well, it's it doesn't necessarily exist in the same form in real life, like it's eating a hot dog, but there is a giant T-Rex that is located in California as well on Seminole Drive, which is actually really awesome. You can see this one's more of like a normal T-Rex as compared to the purple one eating a hot dog in GTA 5, but I still think that comparison is pretty awesome. However, what I think I'm the most impressed with has to be Sandy Shores. The level of detail that Rockstar went into here with Sandy Shores is incredible. I mean, look at the Welcome to Sandy Shores sign. You can see it has the population as well. Look at the real life one, Salton Sea State Recreation Area. You can see Visitor Center and a sign as well. And just so many of the other buildings in Sandy Shores as well, whether they're small liquor stores or gas stations or even abandoned trailers, Rockstar seemed to have nailed these 100% just the little details like this way the signs glow up the palm trees the staircases everything like that I mean even look at this motel sign right here it's in the same sort of rusted over formation that it's in in real life and to me that is incredibly impressive once again just the level of detail there is absolutely insane all the buildings like this marina and like I said the trailer parks just absolutely amazing Sandy Shores is probably the most impressive part of of this area, at least to me and in my opinion. Now, you also might be asking, is Mount Chiliad in real life? Like, is there a mountain that Mount Chiliad was based off of? And yes, it actually is. So it's actually called Mount San Jacinto or something along those lines. And you can see that's what it looks like in real life. What's cool about this mountain is it's actually snowy on the top. That's actually something I wish Mount Chiliad would have is like a permanent layer of snow up at the very, very top of the mountain. I think that would be awesome if it did have that. And I'm not sure that this mountain has a gondola on top of it either like Chiliad, but I still thought that was very interesting nonetheless. However, one of my favorite ones definitely takes place in Polito Bay. It's the Polito Bay Police Station, and you can see the police slash American flag graffiti on the outside of that building. Well, in real life, there is actual graffiti that looks almost 100% similar to that with the police logo, the American flag as well. And I just thought that level of detail there was absolutely incredible. Just super cool stuff that Rockstar was able to do. Also, you guys know about that restaurant called Hookies that is actually located 
kind of on the Pacific Coast Highway, just north of uh, Fort Zancudo. Well, that real life restaurant exists as well, and it's called Neptune's. Uh, and Neptune's Net actually has bikes that's parked in front of it, which is kind of ironic because in game, there's a lot of bikers that hide out there too, which is really, really cool. If we move on back to the city, you've got this university, ULSA, which is supposed to be a parody of UCLA, which is a big major university in Los Angeles, California. So that in and of itself is really cool. And there's even like wineries and a bunch of other things that Rockstar have nailed almost 100% here. Now, one of the more interesting things I found was on the right side of the map. The uh, Noose Center is actually a correctional facility in Grand Theft Auto V. And what's super interesting is the building is almost the exact same shape and style. Rockstar really nailed this one with kind of like the two pillars on each side. So that right there is so unique. And just the level of detail they went in here is absolutely incredible. And as I've mentioned throughout this video, it would take me way too long to go through every street and every store corner and every business that can be found in Grand Theft Auto V. But this map is the ultimate tool in which you can look at really any business you want. I mean, you can zoom in as closely as you want. You could get this crazy bird's eye view of how it ultimately looks. You can go through pretty much any and every business in the game, which is so unique. And that's what's cool about this is you can look up whatever location you want and you can get to compare it to its real life counterpart. Now, a reason this was particularly cool for me is I've actually been to Los Angeles twice. So if you want to look up all the famous locations that maybe you've been to or that you want to go to, for example, I've been to the Del Perro Pier, uh, which obviously in real life is the Venice Beach Pier. I've also been to the Hollywood sign in Grand Theft Auto V. It's the Vinewood sign. So there's lots of famous locations that you can look up here, but also some not so famous locations that you could learn about as well in Grand Theft Auto V. And that's why I think this this is so awesome. I want to reinforce again that I'm not associated or affiliated with this website in any way whatsoever. I just thought it was so cool because for the longest time, I've been super intrigued by comparing Grand Theft Auto V to its real life counterpart, all the beta features and whatnot. So this very much interests me and I really hope it interests you as well. As always, I'll leave a link to the website in the description in the comment section down below. Let me know if you have found any really interesting spots on this map that you didn't know existed. I'd love to hear from you guys in the comment section down below on what you see you can find. If you did go and enjoy this video though, a like rating would of course be awesome. And also subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily GTA 5 videos like this. With all the way guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you guys in the next video.